Hi, welcome to the actor's side. Today, oh my gosh, seven-time Emmy winner, uh, SAG Awards like crazy, Golden Globes, everything, Tony nominations. Alice and Janney, thank you for coming here. Pete Hammond, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for <laughs> having me. This is from Wikipedia. This is a list of all the awards that you have either been nominated for or won, and it goes on for pages. Let me see that. Yeah. <laughs> So the big question is, where do you put all of these? <laughs> I'm sure, I think I've forgotten people have not, you know, sent me a lot. I don't, <laughs> what the heck is going on here? This is, the, I, I, well, I have to send this to my mother and father. Yes. Yeah, That's incredible. That's, for, I'm, it's, well, it just means what an incredible career. I mean, those, these are the cherries on top here. Yes, To get they this are. kind of recognition. Yeah. But, uh, for you, what does it mean to to have this uh, in your career? Um, it's incredibly validating. It makes me feel like I chose the right profession. <laughs> um, I, I didn't know what I was going to do for so long in, in my life and kept looking for other other things to do and it, nothing, I just couldn't find anything else that worked for me and, and so I'm really lucky that this ended up um, um, going, you know, in my favor because it, it took a long time. I didn't start till I was 38, really. That's when I first got my first Broadway show, and yeah. and things took off from there. But I was a slow. Um, I was. I've been like the tur the tortoise. You know? <laughs> but early on, weren't you like uh, hit by the acting bug at all? Neighborhood Playhouse. Oh yeah, kind of I definitely was. Yeah. I just didn't know that. I, I honestly. When at, I went to the neighborhood playhouse, yes, because Joanne Woodward and Paul Newman had come to Kenyon College, and um, and Paul directed me in a play there. And okay, wait, wait, back up. Okay. Paul Newman directed yeah. you in a play when you were just starting. When out. I was my <laughs> freshman year in college, because he had gone to Kenyon College where I went, and oh, they wow. built this beautiful new theater, and he came to christen it by directing the first play, and it was a play that written by Michael Christopher, who, who won the. Pulitzer Prize for Shadowbox back That's in 80, I can't remember what date exactly, play, but yeah. great play. And um, so I met Joanne through Paul, and Joanne had gone to the Neighborhood Playhouse in New York, and she said, you must come to New York. So I went to New York, and I did want to be an actor, but I didn't know that it was really going to be possible. I just, I didn't. That's a hell of a way to start, I have it to is, tell you. It is, it is. It's a great, <laughs> it was, I felt pretty confident going to New York knowing that Joanne recommended me to the Playhouse and I got accepted there and I felt like I was I felt like I was good at it but I didn't know that I was going to be able to handle the business side of it nor did I think that I might be marketable as an actor because of my height because of a lot of for a lot of different reasons I thought I, I don't this may not go my way I knew I was getting a lot of positive reinforcement doing acting like going to Williamstown Theatre Festival and doing plays there with Richard Thomas I did a play with and um I, I, I felt that people were telling me they really loved my work and loved working with me, but I wasn't sure that I was going to be commercial. I was going to be able to, and, and as a matter of fact, it did, it did take a while. I just was too impossibly tall and, <laughs> and, and. But you worked in a lot of, uh, you did some soap operas, I I, I did. Yeah. One of my first jobs was on The Guiding Light. I the played, a, light. Oh, I played a maid, that. Ginger, uh, <laughs> this bad maid, and I had so much fun doing that, having that be one of my first professional jobs where I got, I actually could pay my rent right. from my work. My parents were so, so thrilled. So for you to say like it was 38 before you really felt you'd made it, you know, all of this stuff leading up to that, you still were thinking, I'm not going to make it in this business. I'm not going to be able to pull this off. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to make a living at it. I knew I was good. I was doing a lot of off-Broadway theater. I was involved in a lot of theater companies in New York, and um, and we would put on our own productions, and, and so I was doing that, but I wasn't making any money, yeah. um, and the soap opera job certainly helped, um, but I, I didn't, um, I think it wasn't until I got Present Laughter, the Noel Coward play with Frank right. Langella, that was my first Broadway play, and that was when I was 38, and and from that, actually I think it was before that, maybe I had done this play at the Naked Angels Theater Company. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and it was this play called Fat Men in Skirts. Uh -huh. And, and Nick, Nicky Silver play, he's, he's a great playwright. And, and this play was, I did it with Stanley Tucci and Marissa Tomei. Oh, wow. And that was the play that, um, we only did, I think, eight performances of it. But we had the most 
I can't, there was one night where in the audience were Mike Nichols and, um, and, and Jackie O and John John Kennedy oh and God. Al Pacino and, and Ellen Bark. There were all these celebrities at this time. I think they must have had a fundraiser night or something, yeah. but I didn't. And I started the play with this monologue and I came off stage and I said to Stanley Tucci, I said, nobody was looking at me. I swear to God. I felt like I, nobody was paying attention to me out on stage. And I was like, well, of course, well, Jackie O was there were all these people. Everyone was like looking at her. <laughs> But that's where I met Mike Nichols, who put me in movies um, from that and gave me one of my first movie roles in, in um, Wolf. Oh, and, yeah. and then Stanley put me in his movie Big Night. And, oh, and which is a great movie. It's a great, great I movie. Love Big that Night. was like, <laughs> it was an amazing first uh, couple of experiences for me. Yeah. So right after that, then I did Present Laughter, and, and then things started happening. But, but Well, sometimes when you get an iconic television role, such as what you had with yeah. The West Wing, yeah. C.J. Craig, they tend to go, okay, well, that's her, that's, and yeah. we're not going to put her in these movies in completely different kinds of parts. Yeah. I think I, I feel like I bypassed that um, pitfall by my crew, just the, all the years in the theater and the other sort of comic roles that I had done on film, like even something like Drop Dead Gorgeous right. that was out there that people love. and yeah. um, So I was able to... And I think it's mostly due to the people who knew me and worked with me before who would cast me in things uh, that were against, you know, whatever, C.J. Craig, what, that type, knowing that, that I could do, other, knowing that what I could do. So they, I think that's how I missed that. You did a very interesting thing on The West Wing, too. You won two Emmys for Supporting Actress, and then you went into the lead category and won two Emmys there. I don't know of anybody that's done that in this business. I don't. I'm kind of amazed that 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 happened, and it was mostly the the producers on The West Wing wanted the other category, the supporting actress category, to open up for some of the other actors. Right. So they said we're moving you to lead, and I was like, really? Because I thought I'll never win the lead. <laughs> and then, um, and then I did. It was it was it was it was wonderful. It was really exciting to have that happen. I think it was you know I I. I will have to look and see. I can't believe I'm the only one who's done that. Yeah, well, you have quite a bit of record. I mean, seven Emmys, you're right up there with, with all the top records there in, in television. And then, you know, Mom, now that you're doing, is another very successful show. And Bonnie's such a great, that must be a really interesting character to play. It seems that it keeps evolving into different places here. Yeah, she is a great um, character to play. The writers have a lot of fun with her because she's just, she's, Funny, so inappropriate, and so narcissistic, and so <laughs> and so loving too. She's such a complicated character, and and I have an enormous amount of fun um, playing her, especially with Anna. The two of us together have a great relationship, um, um, and I I love how the show has progressed into this story about these women who are surviving, you know, who are who are living in recovery, and and you see them having a lot of fun and um, getting into a lot of trouble together. It's it's it's. It's really rewarding to tell these stories um, against the backdrop of recovery. Um, um, she's a great character, and of course, I've done that too. I didn't didn't win, of course, because Julia Louis Dreyfus is, wins everything because she's so <laughs> brilliant in that. But I switched categories there too, hoping I could do. I know. Do well, you know, way. again, yeah, yeah, you went from supporting to yeah. a lead this yeah. year. Yeah. You know, well, there's still time. There's still time. I, that shot in front of a live audience, right? Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. So that goes back yeah. to your whole play roots here in theater. It roots. is, and yet it's so different. In some yeah. ways, I thought it would be, um, more, but it's it's such a three ring circus kind of atmosphere on those tape nights. So it's because there's an audience guy who's making. You know, the audience is, is, is doing like dancing and there's tons of music and they're, they're, the guy's making them do barnyard animal sounds and, and we're trying to get new lines that the, the writers are pitching at us last minute and we're, it's, it's a lot going on. It's, it's kind of crazy. I've never experienced it. It's a different level of, um, um, of focus and concentration that's needed. But I do love, the, the audience loves it when you mess up. They love to see all that, that <laughs> behind the scenes stuff. And yeah. um, I do enjoy it. But going back to Broadway recently with uh, Six, Six Degrees, Degrees of Separation with John Hickey, ooh, boy, not at all like, not at all like mom. <laughs> it was a little terrifying being out, out there without a net, so to speak, you know, without the ability to say, hey, stop, can we take this over again? I just mess that line up. Oh, yeah. You know, not, you can't do that out there. No, and, that and, would be uh, unusual. 
uh, you know, <laughs> Hickey and I started learning our lines in October of 2016 for our, you know, I think we opened in April, I think. Right. I don't remember. I, was, I saw it. I, you were definitely there in May because that was when I was there and, I, and the show was going on. And um, uh, uh, it's great that you can do that while you're doing a television series, sort of get that window where you can go back to Broadway. and. It was a little crazy this year because I was doing that and then I also filmed I, Tanya in yes. those you know, two hiatuses where I didn't, uh, wasn't rehearsing for, for Six Degrees or Shooting Mom. Fly to Atlanta, do that, fly back. It was it was a one of the crazier times in my life um, in terms of I was I was stretched to the max. Did you? I mean, when I was a kid, did you ever love me or anything? You think Sonia Henny's mother loved her? Poor fucking you. I didn't stay home making apple brown Bettys. No, I made you a champion. Knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. I wish I'd had a mother like me instead of nice. Nice gets you shit. I didn't like my mother either. So what? I fucking gave you a gift. He cursed me. Monster. Spilled milk, baby. And speaking of Itania, that long list of awards already includes an award you've won for that already, and it hasn't even opened. <laughs> it's incredible. But yes, you've been named the uh, Supporting Actress of the Year by the Hollywood Film Awards, which I was at about a week ago really and saw exciting. you. Really exciting. Very nice. Made a speech. You actually won two. I think you won for Ensemble there as well. Yeah, they gave out a couple. They gave one to the Big sick, I think, and they gave yeah. one to us, which was really thrilling. Which is, it's great, and what a role. I mean, Lavona, uh, Jesus, I can't even begin to describe this to people who have yet to see this. Of course, it hasn't opened, but you will see this as it goes around uh, the country. But um, this is Tanya Harding's mother, yes. Uh, yes, and she's a piece of work. Yeah, this is, <laughs> oh boy, to say the least, um, my, my dear friend Stephen Rogers wrote this script and he wrote this part for me. He was in the Neighborhood Playhouse Yes, you, right? we went to the Neighborhood Playhouse together. So he's been with me and seen my work over the years and, and knew that he always writes me a part in every movie he does. But as I said, at my, my, it's kind of the fun story I get to tell over and over again, but he, he's written me other roles in his other movies, but I never get cast in them. And it's a, kind of our joke. We would say, well, the part written for Alice and Janney will be played by some other actress. And, and, and finally, he said, when he wrote this script, and it was getting a lot of um, a great response, he said to his agents, we're going out, we're going out with this, Allison is attached. So I was attached to this to this, he, he wanted me, that's how badly he wanted me for this part. And no and matter what, they're not going to cast Meryl Streep in this role. Exactly. <laughs> you can't have this one. Meryl, you can't have this one. Um, and I was so grateful to him that he did that and that Craig Gillespie was more than happy to have me grandfathered into the movie. You know, he was thrilled and so was Margot. And, um, but then he wrote this with you in mind when you see this role. It's kind of scary, Allison. <laughs> She's a bit of a monster in and some ways. And yet, I think Stephen knew that the tone of it. He, Stephen writes in such a, it's such a great script, and it's so, it's so, so it's complicated. It's a tragic story filled with um, um, humor and 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 um, humor, tragedy and. Um, Reality. I don't know. It's there's so many things in this story that are, the the tone that he writes for is it, it kind of makes you feel like you're laughing in church when you laugh at some of the things that happen because they're not funny. It's not you know, but they're kind of twisted, dark, darkly funny because you can't believe this story actually happened. It's true. It's all this movie is based on these, as he says in the beginning of the movie, wildly contradictory stories from Jeff Galuli and Tanya Harding. These are. And, and he tried very hard to find Lavana Harding, but we couldn't find her anywhere. Tanya didn't know where her mother was and frankly didn't really care about yeah. where her mother was. And, um, and uh, uh, so, so it's sort of based on Tanya and Jeff's uh, stories about Lavana. 
Right. And a little bit of Stephen Rogers throwing in artistic license and doing. There's what a he little bit of footage that, that I've yes. heard that exists. Yes, right? the, yes. There was a documentary some a young film student made about Tanya Harding's life, and she interviewed um, Lavana in that great look that we <clears throat> took the fur coat with the yeah. the bowl haircut and the yeah. glasses and the bird on her shoulder and, and the parakeet yeah. who you worked with in the yeah. movie. Boy, did he, he was a, he's a good. Good, good little acting partner, that bird. <laughs> <laughs> he taught me a thing or two. <laughs> well, Alice and Jenny, I have to say, I, I think there's going to be some more things on this Wikipedia Awards thing with, with well, the, your role in I, Tanya, this year. And I wish you the best of luck, and thanks for coming in Thank here Thank you today. for having me. Thanks, Alice.